This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 19 of Diablo 3 on the Xbox Series X. Well, we start on a different screen than normal people, and it's because I decided to do some stuff off camera, and the very first thing I did, answer the question that we had in the last part and possibly a few parts before, as to how you get sockets on items. And now this might have popped up when I've been doing the enchanting before and I've just not twigged onto it or noticed it. But you can see here, I basically went on to the bow that we decided to use in the last part. Decided to change the one of the moves on it, which is reduce cooldowns of skills by 8%. And the three options it's given me to swap by, look at one of them. One of them is a socket. One socket. And, or we could change it to a reduces cooldown of all skills by 7%. I don't know why that's given us the same thing again. It seems a bit harsh, but anyway... <laughs> But yes, we can change it for a socket. And there you go. So that is, you can get sockets on items, but you have to do it by the enchant. You can't actually, you're not guaranteed to get the option of a socket. But there you go, we did in that particular case, people. So very happy with that. And if we come back, we should be able to now take out the... In our chest, we had a, dam we had a life on hit in one of the items in our old bow. <coughs> So we can get that gem out of there and stick it in this new bow. Uh, if I can remember where the guy is. Two girls with green eyes! So we've got three of the big ones. Um, just three of the big ones get us a uh, even bigger yin. Might do, you know. Indeed it does. A star amethyst. Could have socketed it in there actually, but anyway. Yeah, plus 1500 life per hit in the weapon. Wow. Well, there you go. That was well worthwhile. Now, there was a couple of other items we were wearing that I was like... I wouldn't mind experience on something. <laughs> Just so we're getting a bit of extra experience. Transmogrify. Enchant. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, see, there's one there. We've got plus 15 grenades of damage, which we don't use. So let's see if we can swap that. Well, plus 15% to evasive fire, which I think we do use. Or 100 and th uh, plus 360 life per second. Is evasive fire not our basic move? I think it is. Which we're hardly using, to be fair. I don't think you can unroll. I think... Mm, maybe you can. So I think, yeah, once you've picked one, you can only... You can re-roll the same thing over and over again, but I think that's it. Possibly. Just costing me money at this point to try and get other options. Cancelling will cause the original chosen property to be re-enchanted. Yeah, that's fine. So it's costing us... 20 grand each time or something. Pretty much. Yeah, it's, it's kind of giving me the same things over and over again. Yeah, it's just life per second in grenades. It keeps giving me over and over again for some reason. Right, we'll stick with what we've got then for now. It's a bit of a waste of money, but worth, worth trying it. 
bow we've already done. Well, that bow must have an immense amount of... Uh... Yeah. Well, that's life after kill. But we're already getting... Well, we could probably dump the life after kill, actually. Because we've got life per hit now. But... I damn... Oh yeah, because we took a socket, so we can't we can't re we can't rethink it. Dex vitality, lightning resistance, critical hit chance, they're okay. Fire resistance. Yeah, the others aren't so bad actually. Life per hit on that as well. Well, the gold health pickups increased by two yards. I'm not that bothered about. Ooh, plus experience. Here we go. Take a bit of that action. Life per hit, fire resistance, keep those for now. Plus 20 gold from monsters. Mm, probably rather have a level uh, experience if we could get it, I suppose. This is costing me a fortune now. <laughs> Down to my half and nearly down to half a million people. Thorn damage, injuries, cold. Yeah, it's fifty-four grand every time I do that now. What about the rings? How are the rings doing? I think it's more expensive on the legendaries. Dexterity. Reduces duration of control effects by 7%. Life per hit. Yeah. It's not been very kind at all. It's a bit cheaper on the boots, though, to be fair. I waited 1,500 years for this. Should I return to my slumber? <laughs> Don't know what the point of it is. Take that. Well, we're getting experience per kill on our pants as well, so... Not so bad, I suppose. Right, we'll live with all of that. Right, then, we've got some conv conversations to be having. Although, hang on, there is one thing I wouldn't mind doing. And that is transmogging. Me bow back, perhaps, 50 grand for that bloody one, wasn't it? <laughs> Didn't transmog me boots. Actually, everything else is fine. Yeah, it was just a bow. Right, let's have some conversations with people. The Black Soul Stone. The Black Soul Stone. Holding six prime evils in one container. And that seems like a bad idea to me. It is our only chance to defeat the Demon Lords. That makes it worth the risk. It's a miracle Leah wasn't corrupted by the dark energies within it. Don't you think? Visions? Ten days ago, I had an extremely powerful vision of a dark future. Horrible, horrible things will happen to you before this is all over, but you will prevail. I'm no stranger to horrible things. What should I expect? 
I would never burden you with the knowledge of things you can't change. You need to be happy. Enjoy yourself while you can. Okie dokie. Nerves. How do you feel? Nervous? I conquered my terror long ago. Now I only see what I must do next. I feel a sense of calm. I know you can do it. Have no fear. The things I have crafted will not fail you. Brotherly love. Does your brother know about your feelings for his wife? No. She didn't take the time to tell him before waltzing off to the altar. Now their children would starve if not for the gold I send their way. And yet you are ultimately responsible. He will be free again in time. Paying off the Merchant's Guild of Kingsport is no small task. And aren't you supposed to be on my side here? The Templar's research. You no longer study the torn page, I see. Did you find out where the tomes are? No. I've learned something much more troubling. Judging by the borders, this is indeed a page from the tomes. But it does not contain prophecies. It seems to be a set of instructions for the creation of magical weapons. But that is not the strangest part. I have seen the rune here before. On the braces of Tyriel's armor. I have never encountered this rune before. Let us go ask him. Okie dokie. Right, what else have we got? I think that's it for conversations. Uh, yeah, I've got rid of everything. It's fine. Uh, well, apart from that one boat. Lieutenant Lavelle. An incredible victory. I knew Asmodan could never stand up to the likes of you. Where are Adria, Leah, and Tyriel? They are all in the armory. No doubt celebrating. You should join them. Fog grasp quest complete. Right, let's just get a note of what we're at, people. Quest are we on now then? No, we're still Heart of Sin, so we're still on with the same. Uh... Okie dokie, how armory it is. Should I tell you what we'll do just while we're here? Adria, when did you decide to betray us? Twenty years ago, a great and terrible power drew me to Tristram. But Aiden, Leoric's eldest son, defeated that power and sought to contain it within his own flesh. The Dark Wanderer. It was Diablo I saw within him, and I pledged myself to his service. Now, at last, his grand design comes to fruition. Dear Leah, Deckard always suspected your true father was Diablo himself. And now, my daughter, you shall serve as his vessel! Well, she won't be winning Mum of the Year award. But I am more than I once was. The seven evils are now one within me. I am the prime evil. Well done, faithful Adria. Go now, 
Until I call upon you again. Now, at last, to my true goal, the one that has always eluded me. The utter destruction of the High Heavens. Enter the portal to heaven. Blimey. Blimey, we're into Act 4. Wow, another glorious cutscene. Act 4. Adria has betrayed us and killed her own daughter. Leah was used as a host for Diablo's rebirth as the prime evil. Now all the power of hell answers to him alone. The high heavens themselves break under his assault. For the angels cannot withstand the depth of his corruption. Only I can. Always up to us to fix it. Good grief. The Diamond Gates. Fall of the High Heavens.
saving heaven itself. Grief. Right, on we go. Waypoint. Talk to Tyrael at the Diamond Gates. Imperius, you cannot mean to face Diablo again. Your wounds are barely healed. The heavens burn. This is your fault, Tyrael. And you, Nephilim, look below and see what your kind has wrought. Aspect of valor condemns us. This will be difficult. The Diamond Gates have stood since the light first broke over the high heavens. Now they lie in ruins. Imperius is right. I am the cause of this. Don't let his words deceive you. Diablo planned it all from the very beginning. You are not at fault. Long ago, my brethren and I voted to decide the fate of man. I cast the final vote that spared you from extinction. Now, humanity has birthed the Prime Evil. No, we were betrayed, and now we must make amends. We must stand and fight. Isn't that why you became mortal? If you will not join me, I shall go on alone. But you don't understand. Hope has been silenced. Dire tidings, indeed. Heaven's Fall? Diablo is too powerful. Always before, the lords of hell bickered and worked against each other. They undid themselves. Within Diablo, within the Prime, there is no such division. Now, the halls of the high heavens quake beneath his steps. Adria's treachery. Prime evil. I can't believe all this has come to pass. Adria played us all for fools. Diablo's influence twisted her inside and out. I suspect we have not seen the last of her. The Dark Wanderer. I should have known that Leah's father was the Wanderer. How could I not have sensed Diablo's foul presence within her? I could not either. It is too sad. Adria fooled us all. She sacrificed her own daughter to resurrect Diablo. I will not forget her treachery. Oh, I grieve for her soul. As do I. But we will mourn for her later. For now, we must focus on the Lord of Terror. All right. Where are we off to? The Vestibule of Light. Uh, I think that's the only place we can go, isn't it? It's not pulsating to say go there, but...
Well, I wasn't quite expecting to walk into a fight like that, but anyway, we did alright. Oh, gold. <laughs> We're just going to pick up more and more stuff that's better, aren't we? Vitality, life per hit, oh, experience per kill. That's frustrating. Two hundred and sixty six intelligence, bloody hellfire. We've only got hundred and twenty nine at the minute. We lose two hundred odd decks though, which is why the damage would come down. Waypoint, waypoint. Ethereal. I am Ethereal, Archangel of Fate. It is my duty to record what is and what will be within the scroll of fate. But you, Nephilim, you are not in the scroll. Your fate is unwritten. Then I shall try to make the best of it. Will you help me? Or stand and watch while the heavens fall to darkness? Perhaps fate can be changed. Quickly then, Ariel, Archangel of Hope, has been captured by Ragnarok, the Lord of Despair. I will free her. That should restore the faith of your brethren. These are the Gardens of Hope. The Archangel Ariel cannot be fought. Gardens of Hope, first tier. And the Light of Hope. Okay. <laughs> the, the angels are just standing around waiting for me to save them. What's that all about? Well, that's apparently a much better helm. Yeah, well, loads more decks, loads more vitality, no life per hit, arcane resistance plus 59, hmm, I'm getting experience per kill on my helm, not get any on that, yeah, I think I'll leave it. Spirit is free now. May he be at peace. Vengeance! Health restored. All right, okay. It's a blessing.
but I feel like I've gone the right way first. It seems I cannot pass yet. Luminac. How much stuff? Another helm. Two, four, one deck. It's another hundred dexterity. Life per second. Thorns. Shakram damage, which we don't use. Less dex, more vitality. Damage instead of poison damage. Oh, plus 77 experience per kill. Which would be, that would have been nice. But we're getting a serious amount of life per hit. Yeah, plus 1500 life per hit on that gem. Oh, hang on a minute. We're getting 1191 life per hit on this bow as well. Well, that seems crazy not to put that on then, doesn't it? wasn't that big a jump. It was an extra 300 damage. Much more armor and less health. So I'm not 100% sure, but anyway, we'll go with it. Dex, resist all... Yeah. We've got plus 14 resist all elements, but because of the gems in the other set, we've got plus 60. I think I'd rather keep the other ones on. Funny sort of glow on it, like blood coming off of this uh, bow that I'm holding. The Angiris Council is comprised of the five archangels who hold dominion over the high heavens. They determine the laws by which all angels must abide. Each of them embodies a pure aspect of creation: power, justice, hope, faith. Waypoint, I think, in the middle there. Hey, there we go. will wither if the corruption continues to spread and all will be lost to darkness and ruin the library of fate Diablo. 
I beg to differ. I can't do that. That's the helm we already looked at, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you, Nephilim. I hoped the scroll of fate was wrong, that harmony would once again fill this troubled realm. I see now that all hope lies in you. We must make our own destiny from this day forward. With my blessing, you can now dispel Diablo's corruption. It hides the rifts which bring his cursed servants to this hallowed place. The rifts must be closed. We will not fail you. Diablo nearly crushed the heavens by driving despair into the angels' hearts. But now I have restored hope to them, and yet Tyriel remains lost among the chaos. I fear for him, but I must go on to destroy Diablo's hell portals. Seems reasonable. Hey, is that where I want to go then, in there? The corruption was strongest northeast of here. Ariel? You must close the Hell Rift before you may proceed. Oh, I see. <clears throat> Come back to this bit then.
mysterious. The Archangel of Valor is the greatest warrior in all of creation. He revels in war and combat, and has led the hosts of heaven to innumerable victories. With Malthael's absence, it is Imperius who now rules over the Angiris Council, seeking always to defend the High Heavens from any foe. Hell Rift. What can possibly go wrong down here? You won't survive that. Demons come from Diablo's realm of terror and the burning hells. The gateway must be shut. This rift to find their way into the Silver City. Now only one rift remains. Gardens of Hope Tier 2 Checkpoint! Waypoint! Find the corrupt growths! Uh, how much stuff are we lingering about with here? No, we're alright. Keep going. Mm. Well, 46 of 60, right enough. Bastion Keep Stronghold. I'll do. for now. Uh, is there anything on that bow that we... Well, we don't really want to change any of that, do we? So we'll stick our old bow in uh, stash, I think. Onward! Well, 
Hmm. Let's go there. We'll keep going this way first. Well, it's dying to change me hell, isn't it? <sighs> way more dexterity, way more vitality. Plus four critical hit chance. Got life per hit in the helm, but I've got like a lot of life per hit anyway. Uh, it always wants to take my bloody experience hits or kills away from me. Just get my experience points on kill away from me. Plus 48 poison resistance. Gold health pickups increased. 11% impale damage. Demon hunter only. I don't use impale. I'm aware of. Uh, increases the effect of any gem socketed into this item by 100%. This effect does not apply to legendary gems. Well. Uh, see how much it takes us up by. It's another thousand damage, isn't it? It's like fucking hell. And my armor goes up over 2k. Uh, sorry, 200k, I should say. Armor seemed to stay the same, though. Uh, sorry, health seemed to stay the same. Even though it said it was going to go up. Vitality went up, though. Can't really ignore it, can we? I've lost my sexy looking hood. The damage I'm doing is just insane. And the fact that that stuff doesn't run out is mental. Actually, there was a bit to go left down here. Yeah, good shout. Let us cleanse us from this land. The angel spirit is free. May he be at peace. 
Whoa, level up and ride your pony. What do we get? Oh, we've got another move on this. Increase the backflip distance. Nah. Impale. The knife ricochets to additional nearby enemies. Still no Paragon points. I really need to look this up as to why we're not getting any. It could be as simple as... I'm sure somebody might have mentioned it in the comments after the last part, but there's a high likelihood I won't have posted up this Let's Play until I'd finished it. <laughs> so before I record the next part, I might actually Google uh, when Paragon points start, but as it hasn't happened at level 50, I can only assume... That it must be level 50 and after game. Or after main campaign. Or it's level 60. grants power over the present. For this reason, Ethereal, the Archangel of Fate, is a vital member of the Council. He alone possesses the ability to decipher the threads of destiny woven in the Celestial Scroll of Fate. His boundless sight grants him perspective others have full power. King's Blade. That looks rather sexy. Or it's not. It's just a white. <laughs> looks, uh, I don't know, it just looked very green and shiny. Cover it all. There was a bit up there we've not covered. Please. Hell Rift. Demons come from Diablo's realm of terror in the burning hells. The gateway must be shut.
is through the Archangel Ariel that the power of hope flows into the fabric of creation. Her eternal light illuminates even the darkest souls. With Malfail's departure, it falls to Ariel to hold the Angelus Council together. Should her light ever fail, all heaven would fall to despair. Expectations, Nephilim, but there is not a moment to waste. Quickly, you must make your way to the Silver Spire. The Hell Rifts are closed, but it is of no matter. Soon there will be nothing left of these high heavens. All creation will be the realm of terror. Hey, I'll go straight on. I'm still, it's bugging me there's still areas up there that I've not done though. Let's go back and have a look before we go in. Alright, Captain Cheery Pants. <laughs> One problem at a time, eh? Radiant Chapel, a little side dungeon. lurks in this place. A mahusive chest.
think I was quite close to a hundred kill massacre there and I just missed it. A flawless square topaz and one piece of kit. It's a, bit, a little bit harsh, I think, the rewards on that one. Meanwhile, back in Gotham. I think we're going the right way, people. Back to where we started. Tyriel! Tyriel! Yes, my friend. I am ready to again fight by your side. I was wrong to give in to despair. You have shown me there is still a chance for victory. But we must hurry. Even now, Diablo makes his way to the Silver Spire. I finally understand. Your kind faces death and darkness every day. Yet still you find the courage to move forward. It is an honor to be one of you. I knew you would understand with time. <laughs> she never doubted it. The colonnade. returned hmm. you will see <laughs> you're like giving us a little surprise do you enchantress Friendly fellow. Pay him no mind. This is your fight, Nephilim. Your power is even greater than Tyrael foresaw. One can only hope. But now, we must stop Diablo before he reaches the crystal arch above us. Whoa, now. Hope. I knew you would come. That a champion from the mortal world would light our darkest hour. Your courage and nobility shine out across this realm, blinding our enemies. My thanks, Ariel. I will see to it that your song is never- Though I forsook my home, to see it again like this, any joy I might have had is replaced with sorrow. 
upwards. We must make it to the summit. Chance of victory. Diablo still be defeated. Only in the light that lies within you, Nephilim. I will take heart from it and hope for your victory. The future is ever writing itself. Unknowable. Just beyond sight and touch. Nephilim. Only once in the history of Sanctuary has a Nephilim been as powerful as you. His name was Odysseus. The man who sacrificed himself to save the world? I thought that was a fable for children. He was no myth. Because of his noble sacrifice, I saw the inherent potential in your kind. As such, I voted with Aurea to spare mankind from annihilation. And yet you both did nothing to help us all these years. I mean no disrespect, I know of your duties here. But my people are trapped in the eternal conflict as well. We have suffered endlessly. We still do. I have seen enough to know that you speak the truth. Perhaps one day, humanity will find peace. Seeing the future? So you can see the future. I see the myriad streams of possibility, all intertwining and weaving into one another. I can hear them echoing forward into eternity. And yet, you do nothing with your great knowledge. I am not called to be a champion as you are. My role is simply to observe. Have you seen the fates of the Prophet? I know of that name. But the one who bore it lived and died long before your time. I see. The end. Does the scroll of fate say how this battle will end? Doom and darkness. These heavens ruined. The angelic host broken. Diablo victorious. Do you believe that? As I have said, Nephilim, your destiny is unwritten. You alone may change these dark times. Well, that's bloody marvellous, that is. Right, well, I think it's only fair, as we've hit the hour mark, people, that we Bob Sebastian's keep and say that this is the ideal place to be wrapping things up for this part. Let's salvage all our things. Nice fresh start for next time. Well, we've still got a big gem in there. Take the gem out of that and then stick it in the chest. Tidy up some of these conversations at the beginning of the next part before we crack into the action, I think. What was it doing, people? That was the helmet, wasn't it? And I'll probably just have a little visit to the transmog and put me looks back on me, uh, me bow and me helm, I think. Doesn't look quite as good as it was with that. Well, hang on, that's the wrong button, Steve. What are you doing? <laughs> it's pretty, pretty funky head set, right enough. That is, I think that is blood coming off of there. That bow. Anyway, uh, it's cost me 50 grand every time I want to put my sexy bow back on. <laughs> it's like, what the shit? Let's do it now, actually. It'll wind me up otherwise at the beginning of the next part. Get straight into the conversations and action then. Transmog. And that. And Gould only knows which one I had on. It's frustrating that you can't save the... Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Fifty K for that one. Bit of a fan of the hoods, though. I'm pretty sure it was that one. And then I... ...died it. 
Brünn. And then bow. And then 50k. Oh, actually, that's interesting. Yeah, the, the blood seems to be coming off of a perk that we've got. Because when I put this on last time, it had electricity or something coming off of it. So, yeah, that, that blood's nothing to do with that particular bow, as it happens. Put that back on, then. 100 grand put... Oh, no, 50 grand. The, the, hair, the hood wasn't that much. Yeah, you can't die weapons. There you go. I wonder where we're getting that from, then. Unless it's life per hit that's making it do that. But it could be any any piece of kit. We've got poison damage coming from stuff. Poison you'd expect to be green. Uh, I've not seen. I don't remember seeing anything to do with bleeding. To be fair. Oh well, maybe it, maybe it's the life per hit perk that's coming off of it. Right, they are, folks. So we've got a few conversations in here to crack into the next part, and then we'll teleport straight back and crack straight into the action. On heading for Diablo himself. Well, there you are, folks. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Diablo 3 on the Xbox Series X. And I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.